is also known as opening speaker, one who starts the debate, the topic is given. This speaker number two is one who reverts and the speaker three is one who summarizes. Likewise, we have speak, uh, the team speaking for the topic and the team, team speaking against the topic. What did I just mention? Jung's Toastmaster will be speaking for the topic or against the topic? For, for the topic. And what is the topic? Topic I will bring up. Yeah. The topic is children should not watch television on school nights. Wow. The topic for you which Jung's Toastmasters will be defending is children should not watch television on school nights. So as you Jung's Toastmasters to be team A. Speaker 1, Speaker 2, 3 and your opponent on 9th of December is Brilliant Mind Toastmasters. So they will be speaking saying that children should watch television on school nights. Are we clear on this? So three speakers each team. Now the very unique thing of ICDC is the speaking order. To simplify, use those master speaker, opening speaker will start the debate. He will be also after that the speaker from the opposite team which is brilliant minds will speak. <coughs> the second, the third speaker will be from the opposition team. Get it? <coughs> speaker 1 Speaker 2 This is the team from Brilliant Mind Toastmasters Speaker 3 is the speaker 2 from the opposition team It is Brilliant Mind It is not from Dunes The fourth speaker will be the rebuttal from Dunes Toastmasters Can anybody Tell me, why is this speaking order chosen? What is so unique about it? So give time for the rebuttal. Exactly. Now if you see, the, speaker, the opening speaker from the 14 opens the debate. He speaks for 3 minutes. Then we invite the speaking, opening speaker from the against team, which is brilliant mind. He gets 3 minutes. So the rebuttal, if you ask from Jun's Toastmaster, his preparation time is only 3 minutes. So in order to give uniformity to all the speakers, the, the rebuttal speaker, which is now the speaker number 2 of the opposition team, that is Brilliant Mind, is invited to speak as speaker number 3. So he gets three, 6 minutes in all. 3 minutes from the opening speaker from group 2, which is Jun's, 3 minutes from Brilliant Mind. So likewise, Every speaker in the sequence will get 6 minutes for preparation and that is the reason why this speaking order is very unique. Any questions on this? Any doubts? Right? Anybody from this side? It's a 6 minutes preparation time for every speaker. That is the reason why this speaking order is chosen. I consider this slide as the most important slide for anything preparation is the key and for a debate the most important thing is preparation once you use Toastmasters you are choose your team it is very important that your three debaters meet each other plan the strategy the topic because we should understand one thing now you have already got the topic for ground one and I wish that you progress towards semi-finals and the finals but the preparation time for the semi-finals is only 20 minutes three debaters from the wings will be taken to a separate room and they will be told to prepare only for 20 minutes and should they qualify for the finals the preparation time is only 10 minutes so I strongly request the three debaters who are going to represent you and Toastmasters to meet more often, practice different topics. Most important thing is to understand each other's side, gel as a team and then I am sure you will do well. Decide what are your strengths because the opening speaker, you have the rebuttal speaker and the closing speaker. 
Now, the opening speaker is the one who builds the case. In news, close master, let me ask who is very good at table topics? Who is the table topic champion? Ashraf. Okay, let me put it there. Who enjoys table topics? <laughs> but if you see your mentors, when they do the table topic evaluation, everybody will tell you one simple tip. For a two minute speech, you have your opening, your body and your summation. Agree with the topic or you disagree with the topic. And for two minutes, they will tell you only to give one or two examples, right? State your point. Give your argument, wrap it up nicely and say yes, close master reading, I agree with the topic and move on. Friends, the opening speaker for a debate is identical. There's only one difference. He gets three minutes and what I strongly recommend is maximum use only three examples. For three minutes, three examples, max. And when you prepare, understand you will be reverted from the opposite side. They will, every point will be reverted. So whatever you prepare, you may have 10 points on a given topic. Now for example, you have children should not watch television on school nights. Maybe the president will open up. For example, he will say, come on friends, give us suggestion, let us know our team members, right? You may come up with 10 brilliant points. Then it's up to each one of you to come up with three best points because understand this, the opposition team will be ready, ready with their guns to put, bring you down. So your three best points for three minutes with a beautiful opening summation. And one important tip for your opening speech is please state your position. It's very, 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 very important as a team you represent yourself. Now what I mean by that, I'll give you an example. My fellow Toastmasters seated here, means you will have three seated here. We strongly believe as a team that we stand for the motion school children should not talk television on school nights. So try to roll this point at least two or three times during your speech. So what will happen, your judges will feel yes and the audience will also be convinced that yes, this team is speaking and they are giving sufficient evidences. For your opening speaker, please refrain from using someone said. Somebody, there's some study in America states that 10% of the children should not sleep, and for example. Whatever stats you are quoting, please give the source. It's very, very important. As per the study done by the National Geography of India 2016, these are the figures. Whatever you state as an opening speaker, statistics. If you, you want to share the statistics, please give the source. It's very, very important. Examples, take unique examples, not which will be cliche with general one. Try to get unique examples which your, opposite, your opponent will find hard to revert. So, any doubts on the opening speaker? What are the tips? First, state your position. State your position. Maximum three of four examples, try to drive in the same message and state your position so that the judges and the audience feel yes. If you can get humor, it's fantastic. Everybody loves smiling. So humor will be an added asset. Now, I would like to uh, agree with our TMOD today. The rebuttal guy, he has to be in unreasonable to be achieve his goals because he has to bang in the opposite person. The rebuttal guy should be very sweet, but at the same time he should pick up the points from the opposite. What is one unique quality that the rebuttal speaker must have? Listening skills. Pardon? Listening. Listening. I think that is the only quality the rebuttal guy because his preparation time is only 6 minutes. He will rebut, for example, 
your speaker is a brilliant uh, opponent is brilliant minds he will only listen to the three minutes what the opening speaker from brilliant minds will speak and after the six minutes he is going to come and revert point by point one valuable tip for the rebuttal speaker whoever is please do not add any new points there are instances when the rebuttal speaker adds more points please be brave only pick up those points which the opening speaker has said the opening speaker from my opinion, my learned friend my intellectual friend some topics where you respect your opponent but in a sweet way has just said and what i feel is not so you have to convince the audience basically to tell that my opponent whatever he has said is not right we are right so we stick by our topic that is the ultimate aim any questions here again try to stick to state your opinion we as a team yes we believe that we are not standing we are standing for this topic very important now in the summation we have only 2 minutes given to the final speaker so 3 minutes for the opening speaker 3 minutes for the rebuttal 2 for the closing and for the closing most important is to just have a nice close stick on to your points the summarizer will not add any new points what do i mean by add not add any new points arun your experience can you just share some i mean whatever the mm -hmm. opening speaker what points he has taken in the beginning 1 2 3 so you have to summarize your team only you should not add any new theory new points so judges may not like it understand this friends the judges will be looking for one important thing what will be safe for when we do a project today i saw we have three project speeches today what is that one message you want to give to the audience what is the purpose of your speech right what is that one message you want to convey to the audience likewise the judges there will be looking for one thing do you gel as a team do you agree as a team yes we stand for this motion that children should not watch television so the summarizer who is the last speaker will wrap up in such a way that he will convince the judge the judge is saying yes my opening speaker said this 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 i further substantiate the same thing is substantiated by my rebuttal speaker when he said this this is over our friends we as a team believe and we say that yes children should not watch television during school nights i rest my case two minutes wrap up nicely please don't add just you it's very easy for the closing speaker because he already has the script he exactly knows what his opening speaker speaks but if he is good in listening if he can get one point of his rebuttal guy and add it is really strengthens his closing so what is the time for the closing speaker now just a quick re recap Two for the rebuttal, three minutes. Okay. Can someone give me the uh, speaking order from this side, please? Speaking order. What I just mentioned. Okay, first, the number one from the team. 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 Against. Against. Who is number five? The closing Who's summarization from team B. Team B. Against team. And number six. Team A. 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 I would like to give each one of you. I would applaud yourself. You are a fantastic audience. You are a hundred percent very good. Come on. I feel uh, those muscles. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, what do you think uh, the last speaker uh, quality, you know, the best quality he should have? Because you know, uh, I'm always been confused with the final speaker. I mean, how should be the final speaker? See, the final speaker first. Uh, I feel good smile. <laughs> But most importantly, he should know to summarize it because it is his strength. it is he knows what his opening speaker is speaking 
he knows what are the three points because he, when he is the opening speaker finishes, he has his script written right in front of him. So he knows exactly, that. I, that's what I mentioned to you. The opening speaker will have three examples. So just imagine, my opening speaker proved with you all by deciding that example of so and so, so and so. He further added up. So you see already, you have finished by one, one minute, ten seconds, you are already over. Because the speaking time, uh, when I just go on to the next slide, I will tell you. The closing time, the speaker will have two minutes. There is a grace. Time of only 10 seconds. How many? 10 seconds. At 10, 2 minutes 10 seconds or 3 minutes 10 seconds, the timer is advised to clap. And the moment he claps, the entire audience claps. Yes. And then it is strictly told not to listen to the speakers, whatever they speak after that. Can I have a demo? The timer? I will just say click. We assume it is 2 minutes 10 seconds. 2 minutes 10 seconds. The timer. This is exactly what happens in a debate. Two minutes, ten seconds, the timer claps and the entire audience clap. After that, whatever you say will not be taken into account. So, preparation is the key. Once again, three minutes, three minutes and two minutes. So, for a two minutes, just a quick re recap of whatever your speaker because you have the strength. But as for the quality alone, I feel someone who is good in listening, smooth smile, someone. I would say, what about you? <laughs> <laughs> Experience is <laughs> both skill. Now, I'll just take a, this is a judging form. But by experience, I've been a judge. Last year, I, we were a finalist when I represented. So I exactly know, and I'll just explain to you in a nutshell, very simple. Like every table topic speech, opening, body, summation. First, second, effectiveness. How effective were you? Did you convey to the audience the stand which you took? Did you confuse the audience? Very important. That's why I just mentioned to you, when I say to you, I stand by this topic, you are punching in your message and telling the judges, the audience, we as a team believe. Effectiveness. Were you enthusiastic about your delivery? Did you believe yourself whether you are on that topic? Very, very important. If you don't believe, you will not be able to convince with the audience. Second, as a team, were you able to form a common goal? It's very important. Did you all three speakers speak for the topics? It so happens by experience, I can tell you, sometimes the rebuttal guy will speak in such a way that he is favoring the opposite team. So you, conf you confuse the judges. So as the three speakers must be speaking in sync as one team. Very, very important. The marks allotted content 70 degrees and 30 marks is for delivery. And that's what when the voice come. And especially one tip I would like to give you especially for the delivery is the opening speaker and the summation, please understand, you are speaking to the audience. It's fine for the rebuttal speaker to say, because he is going to rebut point by point what the opening speaker does. So as a rebuttal speaker, you can say, you said, you said, you said, you said. But for the opening and the closing speaker, please avoid looking straight at the opposition. There are speakers, Toastmasters, who stand just like this. Mightly, mightly, and never neglect the audience. So your delivery and your visual contact is very important. Speech timings I have already covered. It's three, three, and two minutes. These are the rules which will be covering in sending you. Now I'll just give one, two tips here today. Is Sometimes you get a topic which you are not, you don't believe. And for example, I was in a mock debate last year, and the topic, my high school lady Toastmasters from my club, and the topic was you know, given to us was women are the most complicated species. Something. And believe me, the speaker she came to come to me my preparation and said, "How can I speak on this topic? Women are the most complicated." 
So if you are a debater representing Jews Toastmasters, for that 3 minutes or that 2 minutes, forget everything, you are complicated. <laughs> <laughs> so understand is when you participate into something, just for the 3 minutes, you may get any topic, be prepared for any topic. And second, don't add any points. Stick to one point and have one nice smoking body and summation and convince the audience and convince us that yes, we stand for the topic. Team effort is all that requires and by perfect coordination, I wish you Toastmasters success on 9th December 2016. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.